Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of biological sciences as a discipline and what it entails. Biology is the life aspect of science. Often when we come across the term science, we might get some idea what science as a discipline is. But it is not easy to attempt to explain what science is about. Let's approach from the way we do observations, identify, perform experimental investigation and attempt to put together an explanation of what has happened by accounting or justifying scientific observations. Well, in fact, experimental science works this way. It encompasses keen observation, collection of data and trying to interpret them and to explain how things work. Researchers make use of model organisms to extend their observations broadly to other species. Examples of model organisms used include the model Weta rabidopsis, the Drosophila fly, and the model mammalian mouse for instance. It is through such detailed observation and understanding of biological processes from model organisms that we can extend these discoveries to humans in area of health and diseases for instance. Biologists or life scientists follow a standard approach to investigate scientific phenomena and in turn test out their ideas. This is what we term as the scientific method. Taken simply, it's an organized approach where scientists set out on fact-finding missions to uncover new information that might help with deepening out understanding of biological processes. Discovery science or discovery-based science as it is more commonly known involves the collection, gathering of clues and analysis the data obtained. Scientists aim to better understand the biological roles and functions observed, where the goal is to attempt to explain or reason the natural phenomenon or discovery observed. The scientific method is termed as hypothesis testing. In terms of hypothesis testing, the aim is to formulate and test the validity of a hypothesis. Hypothesis is a proposed idea or a proposed explanation for the observed natural phenomenon. Hypothesis could be formulated based on past observations. Scientists often also provide another angle of attempted explanation, which we call alternative hypothesis. Moreover, hypothesis testing requires experimental support to evaluate its validity. What makes a good hypothesis? We might ask. Another way of phrasing it is what is a useful hypothesis and what can it do? A useful hypothesis must make predictions on the expected outcomes. It could be right or wrong nonetheless. An incorrect hypothesis, when shown to be incorrect through additional experiments, is termed as a falsifiable hypothesis. A correct hypothesis is provisional as till future work disproves it and henceforth suggest an alternative hypothesis. Now the next concept is can we as researchers prove a hypothesis? Remember we mentioned, a hypothesis is an explanation that we put forward for testing if it's valid. The reality is hypothesis is never really proven, just provisional, research work is always ongoing. Researchers nonetheless accept a hypothesis as consistent with known data if reproducible attempts came to the same outcome. In this case, we term it as a consistent hypothesis, but we should never say that the hypothesis is proven. Let's recall, hypothesis is a proposed idea or explanation until proven wrong and it is provisional though it might be consistent. Theory on the other hand are supported with broad body of evidences. Theories are viewed as knowledge, the verified awareness and understanding of information. Theories incorporate observations, hypothesis testing, and inputs from other disciplines and fields. So taken simply, we are progressing in our scientific understanding by moving from hypothesis to theory. Taken together, discovery-based science and hypothesis testing are key scientific approaches that help with deciphering biological principles. Curiosity sparks the scientific inquiry and science only progress when researchers dig deeper into their topic of interest and find out more in the process. Theory is supported with an established set of ideas that explains the data supporting the observations. Theory offers valid predictions that are testable. Theory can never be proven to be true similar to the hypothesis. 
Theory is broad knowledge that we came to apprehend information and facts. Biology is the observation, identification, experimentation, and attempted explanation of natural phenomena. Biologists study life at varying levels, molecules to cells, tissues to systems, to ecosystems. Hypothesis is a proposed idea to account for scientific observations. A useful hypothesis makes a testable prediction. Theory is more broad-based knowledge supported with vast information or data. Discovery-based science and hypothesis testing helps form the scientific method of investigating science. Researchers work in teams and different roles. Published results need peer review with suggestions and inputs from peers. Discussion and debates and sharing of information prompts progress in science. For instance, scientists gather at scientific conferences to share their findings and present posters and discuss ideas. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. Thank you for watching this video.